so late today. I need to pick up Jesse. Um, I woke up when she texted me at 7.30. And... Oh, I'm so hungry. I woke up when she texted me at 7.30. <laughs> and then I had a slight headache, so I was like, I'm just gonna put peppermint oil, like, on my forehead and my temples. Sorry, my windows are open. Um... So I did that, and then I was getting ready, I went to go put my makeup on, and I blended it with the beauty blender, and I forgot that there was still peppermint oil on my freaking forehead. So, you know, I blended my forehead, then I did it around my eyes, and I got so much oil in my eyeballs that, like, it took me 10 minutes to recover from that, and then I poked myself in the eye. So it's been a great Monday morning, but I'm on the road now. I changed 17 times and I, oh, I hate what I'm wearing anyways, so I just gave up. Let me fill you in on what the back seat issue is right now. I <laughs> drove Jesse home from work today and then was like, I'm gonna go to the mall because we're gonna go take pictures on Wednesday and I wanted a cute new outfit. And, um,. On the way home, the tire pressure light came off, and I was like, weird, but instead of the check, the oil, change oil light, whatever. So I was like, I wonder if that's just like a computer system or if something's actually wrong. So I was like, mm, cause I had just gotten an oil change like two weeks ago. Um, so then I like continued driving and I'm like, this doesn't feel right. So I pulled off about 10 minutes from my house and sure enough, she was flat. So, called my dad because I'm a strong independent woman who also just needs their father and he drove up and then some nice man who bless his soul was just like yelling at people that he could wash windows my dad's like hey man you know how to change a tire he's got a bad knee I have no idea how the heck to do it um and the guy was like yeah no man I can do that for sure so he loves lovely man changed my tire and uh, now I just I have a donut so I'm going to drop my car off at my work because it's just down the street from a tire shop so that in the morning you just take it over and get it fixed because I need my car for Wednesday so it's nice that there's lovely people my dad paid him in cigarettes and gave him some cash so uh, he was probably very thankful for that also. It's Tuesday because of the whole flat tire thing yesterday. My father's picking me up for work, so it's my outfit. I don't get a vlog in the car. Sad. I did post in TikTok though, so if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. I just got home from my hands are wet. Um it's what day is it today? Tuesday. I had a decent day at work. I got my work done actually on time today. Um, and then we went to Valley Village. I'm looking for like a Charlie Sheen shirt. I don't know why. I really want one. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be very in this fall for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but I wanted to get one of those and couldn't find any... I see a plant that's very dry. Okay, so I have a few plants that I need to go tend to right now. Um, but like I was saying, we went to Valley Village and they didn't have anything. Went to Walmart, didn't have anything. So I guess I'll just have to look online or go check out Mr. Big and Tall. But I got home and my, oh, I got my tires fixed today. So that was good. I had to replace the two front ones. Get a wheel alignment, everyone. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper than tires but I got home and because I keep everything in my trunk um and had to change it take it out obviously for yesterday I actually cleaned out that portion of my car so my trunk's a trunk now and not a closet I've been collecting I like to say plants for a year now and I've kind of learned through the past year that it is so not necessary to plant your plants in a pot right away um a lot of the times i will just
she has some dry pieces. Um, but a lot of the times I just get cover pots. Like this one I got at Michael's last year when the season was over. And this one probably needs a new one. You can tell it's been facing the sun. Time to turn it because all the leaves are I'm trying to get out the window. But you don't need to repot this right away. Sometimes, a lot of the times, the plants actually like to be a little root bound. So, I don't do it until it's absolutely necessary. I have some that are over a year old that still are in their nursery pots and they're doing well. Um, some I've obviously planted right away, like we have this guy right here. And I planted hit this one right away because the nursery pot was the same size as this and it has the drainage, so. Um, So it, it did it did fine um but yeah a little tip also tips today. rotate your plants often i do mine like every time they start to look like this it's sitting like this against the windows so every time it looks like this uh, it's time to change it otherwise they get droopy and another thing is when you're introducing a new plant into your home segregate it for at least a week because you never know if you picked up the one plant from the nursery that has spider mites or any type of pest and now you've brought that into your house and if I put that on my shelf right now, I would be ruining about 10 plants. So, little hot tip. What's up my little buttercups? It's Wednesday. I've taken the day off work, like I said yesterday, just to have a little me day. Um, and I'm gonna go take some pictures. I really want to try and like start to change out my wardrobe. Not to fall, but just like completely like be a different person. And I was looking on Pinterest last night. I only have like one style on Pinterest for like fat girls and it's like, why? I don't want to wear skinny jeans and peplum. I want to wear skater pants with Nike Jordans. Jor Air Jordans. I'm not a shoe connoisseur, but I'd like to be. And make t-shirts. And you can't find that style on there at all, so it kind of sucks. If you ever want to change up your style, don't go to Pinterest. Okay, so we just went and took some pictures. And today, for both of us, it was just such an off day. Like... I mean, I'm sure we got some good ones, but I don't know, compared to that last time, that last time, huh, we got a lot of good ones. I just, I, we felt so good leaving in today. It was just not the case. I'm gonna go get a petty and then I'll drive Miss Jessie to the airport. <sighs> I'm kinda tired too. I don't know what it was today, if it was just our outfits or... I don't know. It was very odd though. For me too, it's like the new hair. I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself anymore. Like pictures don't look the same. So, figuring that out. Uh, but, supposed to be getting a Shein package I think today something's getting delivered DHL I have no idea what it is so I'm hoping it's that because that, if that's the case then I'm gonna have some nice stuff to um take pictures of on Saturday because we're gonna do this again oh my god <laughs> don't pop another tire we're gonna do this again Saturday but I think we've come up with a plan that each of us are just gonna look up two locations that we want to shoot at two vibes and then send them to each other. That way we know kind of the outfits, the looks, what we're going for, just maybe plan things out a little bit better. And I think both of us are also just like in a rut a little bit. Like all of my pictures, I feel like look the same. I do the same posts and all of them. Um, I mean, I wear the same things, but that's what I wear. I'm not gonna change that up just for Instagram. That's a little too much for me. So, we're just gonna try and plan things a little better. I'm gonna look up a lot of videos on like posing and try different things and see 
like what's up i think it's like that we talked about it in the last video but just the whole transitioning right now it's not quite fall it's still summer it's still very much summer but it feels like a little weird i haven't stayed at work this long and so long long we just were talking and hanging out it was nice um but i think i don't know why i'm in like a mood to do something to change something and i think i'm going to paint a wall in my room so i'm gonna go to home depot right now and pick out a color but i think i want it to be black the wall that's like behind my tv my mirror that's on it is black the tv's black but my dresser's white and then i kind of want to get some like hanging shelves and then add some more plants in my room um and some like dope photos <sighs> i don't know though i'm home and the house is a mess and the vacuum's on the bed and <sighs> we're just we out here um i just want a t-shirt so that i could get to painting right away are you ready to see it? Prepare. Did I say I was going to do black already? I'm hoping this is going to be enough paint. I don't know if this is a... What is this? Size. Who knows? Who cares? The lady was like, oh, we're not... Uh, we're out of the one that you want. So you're going to have to pay extra for this one. Fine. Twist my arm a little more. But I'll show you what I'm wearing. So this is, oh my God, please don't just, you know what? You're in a real good view. Just, just my mess of a room. Like clean clothes that are just on the floor, kind of. Like, we're going to paint just this little corner and this wall. And I don't think we're going to do that wall yet, but who knows how paint happy I'm going to get. Hopefully it doesn't look too strange with the white. But I'm just really sick of this wall being like that. And then I'm going to hang like a shelf here. Maybe one here. I'm not sure yet. I might also just forget the shelves and just build like an Ikea. Like a whole unit there. But that's kind of what I'm working with. It's the wall. Um, where did the paint chip go? It's called Broadway from Bear. So, I don't know, hopefully it's, hopefully it'll be okay and I don't hate it and want to change it in a week. I think this wall, I'm going to do like an art wall. So it's just going to be like a bunch of fun stuff. And then I was going to do something like behind my bed, but I think with the black wall and then doing some art over here, I think that'll be enough. Once these plants grow in and start to all trail, it's going to look really sick. So yeah, this guy... Really isn't grown in the last year, so I might switch him out with a plant at work. That one also, that was a propagated one, but it's not really loving its life. But I think it also might need some love. This is why I can't have nice things and start fun projects, because I get halfway through and then... I don't give up, but I'm like tired and want to go to bed, but I literally have half a wall to finish. I ran out of paint, so I had to get more, and when I went to get more... Uh, while I was waiting for the paint because there was a, a few people in front of me and she was like it'll probably be like 15 minutes and I was like no worries I'm gonna wander around so I go to the garden center so I go to the garden center and I find two philodendrons for $14 and they are massive like this is also philodendron and I probably got it in oh a long time ago like there was still snow on the ground i'm pretty sure when i got it and these ones let me show you how big they are those are them like they're huge they fill up my whole window almost they're long they're thriving the leaves are the size of my hand like they're just 14 dollars at home depot like are you kidding I just couldn't believe it. So I was like, well, I have to. I have to, because I'm... Okay, so 
this is as far as I've gotten because I wanted to put kind of my mirror back together and then so I can move this in front of the mirror so I'm not like totally um, screwed for the morning, but I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna do that right now. I was just taking a little break, putting some stuff away, cleaning up some garbage, I watered. Uh, now I have to move this bad boy. It's a disaster, I'm sorry. So I think I'm gonna take this dresser, move it to the middle of the wall, hang the TV, hang some shelves, put some plants on it, have like a chair maybe, some flower, some trees. I might get, um, you know, make it artsy fartsy, cute, cute, cute. And then this mirror will go into the other room. And then on this wall, I think I might, even though this is where I take like majority of my selfies, but we can move that to the other room. There's blank white walls everywhere. But I think with this wall, I'm gonna hang a mirror like the one I have downstairs, that gold one. I don't know if you've seen it or not. But that one, I'm gonna like hang one just like that and then make some really cool artwork for that wall. And then clean the closet out. Maybe put the door back on it. I feel like that could be a good idea because then I could close the door and not have to see it. And then there's some ticks that need to be fixed in this wall. And then take off these two shelves and maybe like hang literally anything else so um so yeah i'm kind of looking at doing that i don't know why i just felt like i needed to change i'm just looking at this you know i said those were 14 dollars this is regularly 38 anyways um but yeah i'm gonna get back on it and move this dresser and get things going and back situated <sighs> And I'll see you tomorrow. That'll probably be it for tonight. I was headed to work and then I was like, I didn't show. My room is... <laughs> Those plants on the window are killing me. I might go buy more today. Don't judge. Okay. So I was going to head off to work and then I was like, I didn't I didn't show the wall. Um, I did finish last night. There's still a piece of tape on the wall. But when I reorganize everything this weekend with my parents, I'll get the tape. But here is what the wall looks like so far um two seconds so that's it i absolutely love it see what i mean though like just the clutter of like all this stuff and like i always change and then throw clothes on there and i have just like things everywhere but i love the color so i think once it's like put the tv's hung in the wall and I have some plants and stuff around it, some shelving. This is kind of gone. I think I'm going to absolutely love this space. So I'm really excited to get that done this weekend. Now I'm headed off to work, though. This is my outfit. I have literally really need to wash these jeans, but they're just so comfy. But my underwear is going to show. That's okay. You know what? We live and we learn. I'm going to go shoot this Shein over tomorrow. I'm really excited about it. Um, off to work. Deciding if I want to grab breakfast or not. I don't know. I'm just loving these. Oh, can we? Have I even been on here today? I don't even know. Today's felt like four days now. God, I always turn this on and I'm like, so looks. I need to wash my hair when I get home. Just, um, so I went back, I went back to Home Depot because I was like, I love those plants that I bought so much. I would not hate myself if I bought two more of those. So I was like, I'm gonna go check. They were all sold out. There was only like maybe five left yesterday. So not the, and what is happening here? Oh, somebody leaked something. Oh. Sorry. Um, so yeah, not the end of the world. But I did end up buying <sighs> just a spider plant and another just golden pothos. Uh, they're gorgeous and large and there is a freaking bug in my car. 
and I don't really want to touch it. But it's just hanging out. It's made a home, and I don't want it to. I went to uh, Mr. Big and Tall today and got some graphic t-shirts. Uh, everyone always asks where I get them from, and honestly, that store, they're like, they're always soft, great quality. They're a little expensive, but like, they're just as expensive if I was to go to like, Urban Planet, and these ones are actually oversized and not just like, a regular fitting t-shirt. So, I bought five of them. I'll show you when I get home. I'll do a little haul and haul. And then, what else did I do today? I took like a two and a half hour lunch. That was nice. And by that, I just mean I avoided my office for two and a half hours. And then did about like another hour and a half worth of work when I got back. And then we went to Lowe's. I got some pots, which you can kind of see. Just some of my little thing. Oh my gosh. I have a weird hiccup. Some of my little babies need to be repotted. They are very unhappy with their lives. Which is fine. Um, so I'm gonna fix that. It's Sunday morning. Let me fill you in. I didn't record anything yesterday. I was just... I was out from, oh god, like 9.30 to like 2 in the morning yesterday, and I just was busy hanging out, living life, um, that I forgot to record anything, so I might have like one clip of me and Cole singing, <laughs> but let me fill you in on what I got up to yesterday, so I... Went and we took some pictures, me and Susie, in the morning. It's becoming our Saturday thing, and I'm really liking it. It's really getting me, like, out of my comfort zone. Um, so we did that, and then I went and picked up Cole, and we went and walked around White Ave for a bit. Had a drink at Julio's, and then we were going to an escape room. Um in the evening with some friends but we had a lot of time to kill so we decided to go play mini golf so we went and did that and just played some arcade games uh, and then we went to the escape room and we ended up getting out in like 20 minutes we were real quick with it I think we were like just a couple minutes over because they have like a scoreboard to like who gets out of the room so i think we were like just a couple minutes over getting like fifth place i think so that was cool but because it didn't take that long we didn't get the like escape room high so we decided to do another one there and we got over that one too so crushed it but um yeah it was good and then we went to a bar downtown, Greta. They have really great food there. So we just had some dinner, snacks, late dinner, I don't know. Uh, and then the rest of our friends left and me and Cole went to the pint and just people watched because that place just, you get a little bit of everything there and it's amazing. Um, great show. But it was packed when we went to leave. They were, like, no one was in, and the lineup was huge, so it was busy. But then we went to another bar in town, Mercer, and met up with some other people um, and some friends of mine. And we ended up staying there till like, almost 2 o'clock, which was not my intention, and I was sober the whole time. And then... I was gonna text my parents and be like, got home at two, don't call till like 10, because they love to call me at like 8 a.m. And I forgot to text them, I guess we get to call at nine. Hi, it's me. So they're, they're coming over to help me finish this bedroom project today. 
Okay, we have not, oh my gosh, we have not gotten super far on the wall because I was in charge of the leveling and it's slightly off. So we can't get the screw out. So I'm going to my dad has to go get a ratchet set. I have no idea. He's going to get some type of tool so we can get that out. It's literally off by like this much. But with the shelf and everything, you're going to be able to see it. I don't really care, but long term, I guess it's better. So that's as far as we've gotten with that. But I'm not going to lie, I kind of enjoy the look of this black wall. I need to get new curtains, definitely. And a mirror for up here because I'm going to show you. Um, because I'm moving my getting ready station house of the disaster to to in here. So um yeah, I'm gonna drag my mirror out. Jessie made me this table. She was gonna build this as an office and it just it's life, so it's just taken a little while. Um but she repainted this desk and I think it's absolutely stunning. So so happy with that. I have no idea what the plan is for all this stuff, but she'll come and set it all up maybe for me one day. My closet doesn't close. <laughs> There's a blanket in the way. Um, but that's kind of what I got going on. So the mirror is going to come in here. I'm going to get some type of mirror for this, and it'll be like a little vanity area, and then maybe some clothing racks and just... That's kind of the plan for that. It is seven o'clock and I told myself I'm stopping at seven no matter where I am and I'm done. I don't, this was a long day. <laughs> Glad I did not drink last night because it would have been worse, but things just didn't go well. We couldn't get brackets in properly at first and then when we did it was off center slightly and then trying to take it out and we didn't have it through it was just a whole mess but it's done and I love it I'm still missing a little piece which I'll turn it around and show you in a second but it's kind of crazy I go from like this very airy white aesthetic to okay you ready I go from that to this and it's not finished 100 percent. i still have to figure out something to do in this corner i'm either thinking a tree or like really cool like pictures you know maybe do some like white ones here some black ones there or like something to balance it um but that's it i'm just listening to some rain noises currently um this chair i got from ikea it's from my office so i ran to work to get a new one and then all the plants I've just, the only one that's new is this one. The rest of them I've just had around the house. Um, we still have this guy in the window and then just moved some things around here. But that's the new wall. With that being said, I am so ready to go make some mac and cheese and like sit down for a half an hour. My bad just hang out for a bit just chill for a bit um i might do some drawing tonight i still have to edit this vlog so maybe i'll do that first after i eat and then take a hot bath and just do some drawing while i watch tv before bed but that's all for this week hopefully it's exciting i don't even know what we did this week so i can't wait to go back and look at all of the footage um but yeah, hopefully you enjoy your week coming up and you're a good Lisa. I'm going to finish. <sighs> you had a good week last week. And uh, I will see you on Wednesday with... I'm going to post that Q&A finally. So stay tuned. Love, peace. Bye.